Hey everyone, good morning, Chris the Thrift Shop Hustler here with another What Sold on eBay video for you this morning. Hope everyone is having a fantastic week with sales. If you're new to the channel, uh, I am Chris the Thrift Shop Hustler with over 30 years of reselling experience. I'm a professional eBay seller for the American Cancer Society and that's the shop that we're going to focus on today. 100% of the proceeds goes to answer research so if you like that definitely go and click the like button we're going to go over some of the things that we sold in the last week and there's lots of bolos in this thing so you definitely want to watch the whole video uh, once again i'm chris the thrift shop hustler hope everyone is having an amazing week and if you're new to the channel go down there click the subscribe button click the bells for notifications so you can get a notification when i go live which i'm live right now so if you're watching on the back end you might want to go and click that notification button for sure so let's start getting right into the fun stuff that we have for sale today or things that I should that we sold I should actually say <laughs> I'm already all mixed up uh, for sure uh, first up we have this troll hunters Funko figure toy Netflix collection uh, this is a bolo brand especially for these particular troll hunter figures now I never I haven't seen this movie and I think it came out a few years ago DreamWorks troll hunters now, uh, with these figures, is I don't think they really had a, a large production of these. So some of these actually go for a pretty good amount of money, uh, more than you would expect. So if you did some retail arbitrage on this at some point and you got these when they were on clearance or if they were discounted at any point during its production run, uh, you definitely made some profit on these. Uh, there's definitely a few uh, ones that are out there. Uh, we ended up taking a best offer for, I think, like $39 on this plus shipping. And you can see these are selling very well on Amazon. And uh, just it's, this is just a brand to look out for. Uh, Troll Hunters, look it up. So if you see that stuff, uh, this actually came from Funko. Funko actually did produce these. They've been getting into the action figure market, uh, I would say, over the last five or six years uh, with their reaction uh, collection the reactions really haven't done that really that great and uh, so that's another side thing and maybe I should do a video about Funko action figures at some point but troll hunters is something to definitely uh, look out for if you see this name in any of the toys now the movie doesn't go for that much money but if you see any of the troll hunter toys and they're in brand new condition with tags or whatever definitely scan them uh, look them up uh, these are actually doing very well on Amazon if you want to do a little bit of online arbitrage you could have purchased this for $39.99 and then sold the I think the girl figure I don't know her name let's see if I can see Claire uh, I think Claire goes for like 40 or 50 dollars and then this this guy goes for about 20 or 30 dollars on Amazon so could have did some online arbitrage for sure let's jump into the chat and say hello to everyone we got maui delights we got connie duncan super sunshine thrifter adam exploits and by the way if you're not subscribed to adam exploits go down there and click the subscribe button he's getting close to a thousand subscribers i was on his channel uh yesterday or uh geez what's the <laughs> I'm already losing it. I think it was Wednesday. I'll leave a link up here on the back end so you can go and check out that for sure. We got Jeffrey D in the house and we got Gina Joseph. I hope everyone is having. And we got Christy Relief. Yes, for sure. Oh, you're only 13 away from 1,000 subscribers. There you go. So 13 subscribers away from the big 1,000. I think you can actually monetize your channel so definitely go down there to adam's exploits like i said i'll leave a link uh to actually i'll leave a link to his channel below on the back end of this video so let's get back into that for sure uh next up we have this advanced dungeons and dragons module this is a c1 hidden shrine we've talked about tsr advanced dungeons and dragons especially stuff from the 80s it is on fire right now. It's one of those up-and-coming collectibles that is really starting to uh, see some momentum over the last couple years, especially thanks to Stranger Things, which is a Netflix series. If you don't know, it's a sci-fi series. And they, um, the Demigorgon from Season 1 really kind of brought Dungeons & Dragons back into the... Uh, for a new generation to kind of discover and everything back in the day you know this wasn't really uh, super popular so this stuff wasn't really readily available it wasn't mass produced so uh, you can see uh, with that why some of those things would go for uh, a crazy amount of money 
for sure. But anyways, these booklets, look out for these booklets, uh, these modules. Um, for I guess I can get I can kind of break this down a little bit better for everyone. Uh, on the left corner, you can see C1. That's the stuff you're going to research. Also, the the title in the very front on the top there, the hidden shrine of Tamo Tamaka. I don't forget it. Um, that's what you're going to look up if you ever see these things for sure. And the little number in the very bottom there on the bottom right corner, 9032, is another thing to look up if you're looking these up also. Um, some of these books go for a pretty good amount of money, uh, but the average of these books is anywhere between 50, not 50, 15, excuse me, to about 30, 40 dollars. But there are some that push over the 50 dollar range, and there are some that actually push over the 100 dollar range. So, TSR, look out for that brand. Uh, anything that says Advanced Dungeons and Dragons DD, definitely look it up, especially the vintage stuff. It's going for a pretty good amount of money. And so, uh, these books, you know, they're easily shipped. They're kind of like magazine type books. And actually, let me scroll through that so you can actually see what it looks like inside. That'll be good, right? That's what the back looks like. It's not going to have a barcode. It's going to have an ISBN number. Uh, and the inside basically are little maps and things. This one actually had, you know, its own little kind of insert also in there. Oh, there's our shop if you want to come and visit me in Burbank. I'll be there today till 6. Uh, but anyways, it's got like little maps and kind of things inside there and some of these kind of pull out and stuff So uh, it's definitely one of those brands uh, to look out for For sure. Uh, we got Debbie does sales in the house. How you doing? Thank you. Welcome. We got Tony Lisa Appreciate you stopping by if you're enjoying this so far definitely click the like button that helps the algorithm And if you ever watch any of my videos definitely leave comments on them because sometimes if you don't leave comments, the, the YouTube algorithm will totally skip over me. So if you want people to get some of these uh, things for sure, uh, do it. And we got Mary Jones in the house for the first time catching live. Great info. I appreciate Mary Jones for stopping by. Hopefully you got a notification uh, by clicking the bell next to the subscribe button if you did. Some people aren't getting notifications. So if you're not getting notifications, definitely click the bell, turn it off and then turn it back on again. Somehow the YouTube algorithm is all screwy. So let's get into more. Oh, the next one is really good. Check this out. Uh, next up, we have this Antique Ernest Batch Elder California Tile. Now, we've talked about this in previous videos. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go deep diving on this at some point. Maybe I'll make a video this weekend about Batch Elder Tiles. It is specific to Pasadena, California. That's where the, the ceramic artist was based out of, which is about 15 minutes from where I'm at here in Burbank, California. But Batch Elder, he's been, he was doing tiles in the, in the teens, in the 20s. Uh, all the way through the 30s and the 40s and you know they would he would produce these tiles and the, he would send kits to people so that they can put tiles around their fireplaces uh, as a matter of fact and some of you that that i've talked about batch elder before um, some of the fireplaces that have batch elder tiles can command eight to fifteen thousand dollars of added value to their their homes uh, that have these in pasadena so uh, it's very sought after Arts and Crafts Movement, California, uh, the early 20th, 20th century. Uh, this was a huge kind of thing. And uh, what's really cool about this, and I'll show you what these look like. They're standard tiles. They're like kind of like 3 by 3 or 2.5 by 2.5. And they're very intricate. As we can see here, you know, that's got some inlay, uh, which is basically like stuff that's poured inside here. It's I don't know if it's enamel or some sort of stuff like that. And then, of course, uh, over the age over the years it's got this kind of like uh sun patina to it so over the over the years over the you know the hundred years uh, these things will look like this so special tip to anyone that is into this kind of stuff or wants to know more it'll say batch Aldler los angeles uh on the back now beware be weary there's some uh fakes i don't want to say fakes there's reproductions because when batch Aldler died and he passed on his stuff to his kids uh there's other artists that uh that have used his molds but they won't look as they they haven't per perfected the art of actually making them look like his actual tiles that's the thing so uh, just be warned out there that there are and you'll you'll be able to tell there's a little things that are off as we can see uh, this one even had a chip in the bottom corner as we can see here a pretty gnarly chip and this still went for a hundred and forty nine dollars uh, like I said these things came in kits 
So, you know, there was kind of like uh, blank solid tiles, and then there was these very artsy ones. Uh, there are some of them that go for over $1,000, but they're usually the larger ones that are about six or nine inches tall or wide. And so uh, here's just another thing. Tiles, if you haven't researched ceramics or any of this kind of stuff, it's just one of those brands that, you know, you're into clothes, you're into video games, you're in the hard goods, but you never thought about tiles as being a, a something that's worth something. So next time you're at a garage sale or a uh, estate sale or anything and you see tiles, take a second look, flip them over, see if there's any kind of uh, artist marks on them. Uh, they're definitely uh, worth some uh, pretty good uh, amount of money. So Mary Jones says she did get a notification. That's very good. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely uh, glad to hear that for sure. Uh, we got Applebee's Attic Treasures. Hello, join the video, learning a lot. Yeah, um, like I said, this Batch Elder stuff is uh, a hidden bolo. I didn't, I didn't know about this stuff till this year. Uh, get researching glass and pottery and stuff like that, especially uh, knowing that this stuff is uh, about 15 minutes away from where I live or where it was produced in the early 20th century. Uh, so definitely look out for tiles. It's a very uh, interesting niche to to look into. Uh, next up, we have these Lalique France Crystal uh, Wine Champagne Flutes. I, I really I packed the keywords in here. Uh, you really can't see it. I, I got to kind of upgrade my photos as far as um, taking photos. Oh, I had I <laughs> fancy. I had the white gloves on at this for this one uh, for sure. That that shows you. Uh, but anyways, Lalique, you can't really see it. Uh, let me see if I, I can get a close up of the that bottom part here. Uh, Lalique is something to look out for. For the most part, they're all going to be etched in the bottom. So if you're going to garage sales, thrift stores, Goodwills, anything like that, and you're coming across glass that looks a little fancy, definitely look underneath it. If it's got any kind of etching where it almost looks like someone scratched a signature or a code or something on the bottom, that's going to give you a little bit of an indicator that you're into the neighborhood of something that's um, higher end. Uh, now, there could be lower-end stuff that has etching, so don't get me wrong, but that's just a place to start, especially if you're in to uh, looking at newer things and you don't know what to look for. Um, this one actually had chips. Uh, these two pieces had chips, so that's why we didn't sell them for as much as they want, as much as we wanted. Uh, these pieces could have gone for about $100 a piece if they were perfect condition, but these are the ones that had the issues on them, and you can't really see... Oh, there, you can see the chip right here. As you can see here, there's a little chip on the top. Now, if you're into glass, make sure that you look for cracks and chips because that will diminish the value like a lot. So if you're into pottery and you're into all that kind of stuff and you want to learn about that, chips, uh, crazing, which is a, another thing for pottery, but we're not going to get into that. That's a whole other video in itself. Uh, but if you're into glass, definitely look out for the chips and cracks and things because that will, that will substantially... Uh, decrease the value even like 90 percent 80 percent that bad it, it's almost like if i see a piece like this and now this is law leak it's a very high-end glass and if you haven't heard about this before definitely go and do some research on this particular bolo brand um uh, i lost my train of thought i totally did <laughs> but, but anyways definitely uh, look out for la leak glass for sure uh, next up, we have these vintage toy store. I don't even know if these are vintage. 90, 95, I think this came out. Uh, anyways, uh, I, I keyword stuffed on this one. But Toy Story figures. Toy Story 4, I think, comes out today. So this is another pro tip. If you have any Toy Story stuff in your inventory, in your death piles, go and list them today. The movie's coming out. There's a thing that happens. It's called um, It's called consumer momentum. And I just made that term up. Yes, I did. Um, let's call it consumer momentum. When a movie comes out or there, there's a popular TV show that shows sheds light to a particular item, definitely list that stuff. Uh, look at see what Disney stuff's coming out in the future. Like if they're remaking something, if they're doing something in the future, you can see that this stuff is going to come out so you can be prepared to take all your Toy Story stuff out. Uh, I would have probably listed the Toy Story stuff um, maybe last week, so it ends tonight or Saturday uh, when people are going to be going to the movies to go watch this. But anyways, the whole moral of the story is is to kind of look to see what's going on in popular culture 
And so since Toy Story stuff's coming out, it makes sense to start listing the stuff today if you don't have it. Anyways, we sold this about a week and a half ago. Uh, we took a best offer for, I want to say, 40-something on these. If you can find the, the vintage or the first Toy Story, actually, a lot of the Toy Story stuff that's in the package from the first two movies, definitely look them up, uh, scan them in Amazon, uh, look them up. Uh, some of these figures, if these figures were actually in the packages, they could have easily went to fifty to a hundred dollars a piece, especially the Zerg. I think actually goes for a pretty good amount of money. Uh, the Buzz Lightyear actually too. It's like basically they modeled this the, this Buzz Lightyear exactly after the figure that's portrayed in the movie of the first Toy Story. Uh, so Pixar Disney is very doing very well, but definitely a pro tip is to uh, uh, definitely if you have your Toy Story stuff to to put it on like totally today. Uh, we got Rosina in the house. Uh, she says glass question mark. Now I can learn more from you because I do glass. Awesome. Yeah. Glass is something that's very underrated. We got crazy Descartes in the house. He says he loves La Leak for sure. Uh, for sure, for sure. Uh, and Rosina actually makes up a good point. If you do have toy story stuff, adjust prices a little higher because it might be more in demand. Uh, yes, for sure, but definitely look at the comps to see what's where, where the thing is uh, because you don't want to be stuck with the stuff because you rose the price, but that is a very good point uh, for certain things, definitely. That is a really, really good point. Uh, next up, we have some Nike Cortez. We get in some new Nikes every once in a while, and we'll, we'll throw them up on the site. Uh, this one sold for $29.99. These are the classic old-school gangsta shoes here. Uh, they call these running shoes. They're originally, I guess, the running shoes. I guess, like, uh, the, I think the Forrest Gump. I think Forrest Gump, actually, in the movie, was wearing uh, Nike Cortez's when he was doing his running. But I'm not completely sure. But anyways, it's a no-brainer. If you ever come across brand-new Nikes, especially if they're in the box, out of the box, uh, look them up. Some of them are very rare. You might find a prototype uh, pair that, you know, those things. those things are out there. Uh, there's sample pairs, which is a whole other thing from prototypes, basically samples. They they kind of made a lot more of those, but uh, sometimes the prototype stuff actually gets out, especially if you're in an area where the, I think Seattle or whatever, where the Nike headquarters is, uh, or Oregon or wherever that is, um, especially if you're in a hub like that, definitely look out for that kind of stuff for sure. Uh, next up, we have this Lego set. Uh, this sold for $9.99, which is actually a pretty good deal. I think the, the, the kind of the wheelhouse on this particular set, it's about $20, $25. So uh, we did this sell this on a half price sale. Now it's pronounced Lego. Don't say Legos if it's plural. You're not going to say I have a bunch of Legos. That just pisses collectors off. So just be correct. Say Lego is the plural of, it's not Legos, it's Lego. I'm going to say that every time I bring up Lego because every time my earlier videos, I would say Legos and I'd get like 30. Maybe I should just do that. I should just make videos on Legos so that I can get the <laughs> the the comments and the algorithm because the collectors are like, will fry you, uh, especially the hardcore Lego collectors if you say Legos. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Everyone just say Legos to piss everyone off. Let's just do that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Le <laughs> Lego sets... Uh, you just scan them, honestly, especially if they're sealed. Lego sealed sets are money in the bank no matter what, especially if you can get them for a low price. So, you know, there's very few sets that, you know, if you can get them for a dollar or two dollars is a no-brainer. Uh, the little tiny box sets might not be like that, but definitely look up everything that has a barcode. We all have a, com we all have a computer. We all have a computer in our pocket pretty much with uh, cell phones. So... If you have the eBay app, when you look into the search, there's a little camera icon. You got a barcode scanner in your phone with the app. Amazon app also has a scanner. And so you have no excuse not to look anything up, especially if you have the time and you're able to um, with all that kind of stuff. So I said my piece about that. Legos. Legos, I said it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, next up, we have this Eric Church vinyl. This is a this is a super secret Bolo brand. I don't know what the deal is with these, but Eric Church vinyls, um, especially sealed ones. So if you see Eric Church, I don't know who this person is. I don't know what I don't I don't know if he's a country singer. If you know who who Eric Church is, leave a comment below or leave it in the chat. If he's a country singer or something, he's got a guitar, so I figure he's a country singer. 
So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's rock. Uh, but anyways, Eric Church, look for these things in sealed. These things go for like, some of them go for like $40, $50, $60 for the sealed ones uh, because people are looking to, I don't know how these were re released or anything, but um, especially these volumes for, for this particular guy. I don't know if there was a limited pressing. Uh, but anyways, we sold this one for twenty-seven forty-nine. We sold, a, a, I think, volume 11 for like 50 bucks. And they were sealed. And it was just one of those things where you just you go to the barcode, you go over there, you scan it, you go, oh, okay, this thing's going for like 50 bucks. I'll take it. A dollar? Sure. I'll do it. All day long. Eric Church, Hidden Bolo. Uh, next up, we have this Kiss kind of Pez set. I'm, I kind of stay away from Pez. And uh, we actually sold this for $6.49, which isn't like stupendous profit. But uh, I just wanted to touch on this kind of real quick to say that Kiss items are definitely something to look up, especially older vintage stuff. Uh, there's a lot of things that are that are, have been produced now in the 90s, 2000s, 2010s uh, that still actually go for a pretty good amount of money. So uh, this is just one of those things. I didn't really want to show this because this isn't really an awesome sale because we, we were kind of blowing out a lot of stuff. And by the way, if you go down to the link below, our American Cancer Society eBay store is definitely down there. Send me an offer if you want, if you see anything you like, and, and I'll definitely consider if it's reasonable. Just don't say Legos. You'll piss someone off. Anyways, I'm Chris, the Third Shop Hustler. I hope everyone had an amazing time here. Definitely click the like button. If you haven't subscribed, you want to subscribe. You want to subscribe. Tell yourself you want to subscribe because you want to learn. Because the learn, the blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I tried to say my catchphrase, and it totally came out like peanut butter. The more you learn, the more you earn. Everyone have a great day. Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate everyone's support.